one of the common tasks when running Apache Kafka in production is cluster balancing. And in this episode, we will have a look at what does it mean, why should you do it, and how can Streamsy help with it. When you start with a brand new Apache Kafka cluster and create your first topics, the partitions will be distributed equally among all the brokers in your cluster. So each broker will have roughly the same number of partitions and will have about the same utilization as the other brokers. Everything will look perfect and the different brokers will be in a perfect balance. But that will change as you keep using your cluster. Some partitions will be used more and will grow bigger. Sometimes new partitions will be created, for example, when you create a new topic or where you add more partitions to an existing topic. Likewise, it might also happen that partitions will be deleted. For example, when the topic which is not used anymore is deleted from your cluster. So as the time goes by, the way how your brokers are used will change and they might get out of balance. As you can see here is that suddenly from the three brokers which were used equally, we have now each broker used very differently. The first broker with the ID zero is now overutilized and it's over its capacity. On the other hand, the broker with ID one is actually not used that much. And the broker with the ID two is used fairly well. So what you have to do is you have to rebalance your cluster to make sure that your brokers are optimally utilized and give you the best possible performance. But finding the optimal balance is not easy. The partition size is defined by multiple different dimensions. For example, how much disk space it is using, how much CPU does it need, or how much network does it need. Some topics might store a lot of data, but they actually might not get that many new messages. So their network utilization might be fairly small. Other topics might get a lot of data in or out, but because they are using very short retention policies, they might actually not use that much disk space. So when finding the right balance, you need to consider all these aspects. There are also other things you need to take care about. When you are using rec awareness, you need to make sure that the replicas of the same partition are always located in the different recs. So finding the right balance, it's fairly complicated task. That's why in Streamsy, we integrate a tool called Cruise Control. Cruise Control is developed by LinkedIn and one of the things which it can do is rebalance the cluster for you. It will monitor your Kafka brokers and the partitions which are located on them to understand the different aspects of their size. And then when needed, it will calculate the optimal balance for you to optimize, for example, for the best storage utilization, best CPU utilization, best distribution of the network utilization, or combine all of these at once. It can also make sure that the things such as rec awareness are taken into account as well. And then when it has the right balance proposal, you can review it, approve it, and then cruise control will automatically move the different partitions for you. It can take your cluster from the very unbalanced state where it was before into a nicely balanced state, which you can see here, where each broker has roughly the same utilization. You can also use cruise control to add new brokers to your existing cluster, or of course, to also remove brokers from your cluster. In Streamsy, you can use the Kafka rebalance custom resource to control how your Kafka cluster will be balanced. You can find the links to the cruise control documentation as well as to the Streamsy documentation about the Kafka rebalance resource in the video description. 
thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter and star us on GitHub.